In this video, I'm going to visualize addition and subtraction of the similar fractions. So let's have an example. We have 1 sixth plus 2 thirds. This is an example of uh, the similar fractions because they don't have uh, the same denominators. And so let us visualize. Let's visualize first what sixth. So we have one shaded part out of six plus two thirds or two shaded parts out of three. Now we cannot combine this yet because they don't fit with each other. So it must be the same number of cuts or boxes. And so what we are going to do is this two thirds, we can cut it into half to make it all six. So now from two thirds it becomes four six or four shaded parts out of six. And now it fits with one six. Then we can combine them now. So from one sixth, we're going to add the four six or four shaded parts out of six. So it becomes five shaded parts out of six. That means one six plus two thirds is equal to five sixth. So let's have another example. We have two eighths plus two fourths. So these two fractions are considered as the similar fraction since they don't have the same denominator. It's 4 and 8. Now let's visualize this. We have 2 eighths or 2 shaded parts out of 8 plus 2 fourths or 2 shaded parts out of 4. Now we cannot combine them because they don't fit with each other. And so 2 fourths can be um, transformed. We can we can put some slices. Uh, we're going to slice the each part into two so that it becomes like this it's eight slices which is the same as the two eights so there are four uh, shaded parts out of eight from two fourths and now uh, they fit with each other and we can combine them so let us combine starting from two eights or two shaded parts out of eight then we're going to add the four shaded parts and now it becomes six eights or six shaded parts out of eight then the sum of 2 eighths and 2 fourths is 6 eighths. But then if we are going to remove some slices in 6 eighths, it's going to be like this. It's, it's actually 3 shaded parts out of 4. So that means this 6 eighths can be reduced into 3 fourths. Let's have another example. We have 1 third plus 1 half. And these are the similar fractions because they don't have the same denominator. Now let us visualize this too. We have one third or one shaded part out of three plus one half or one shaded part out of two. So this is harder than the previous examples because these two denominators, three and two, are not multiples with each other. So that means we have to do something to both fractions to make the same total boxes. So for one third, we're going to take half of each slices. So since there are three slices and get half of each piece of it, so it becomes like this and it all becomes six. Now for one half, since we're adding it to one third, so that means this each piece of one half, we're going to make it uh, into three. So from well, one half, it becomes 3, 6 or 3 out of 6, which is actually the same as 1 half. We just change its form. Now they are the same. We are, they both have a total of 6 boxes. That means they fit with each other and we can combine them now. So let us combine. From 2 out of 6, we can add the 3 shaded bars out of 6 and it all becomes 5 out of 6 or 5, 6. So that means the sum of 1 third and one half is five six. Now about for subtraction, we have four fifths minus three tenths. So this is a subtraction of the similar fractions. We have two different denominators, five and ten, but at least the fractions are multiple with each other. And so let's visualize four fifths. We have four shaded parts out of five, and we're going to subtract three shaded parts out of 10. 
So to make it fit with each other, we have to do something with the four fifths. So we're going to uh, slice each piece into two so that it becomes a total of ten slices, which is the same as the three tenths. Now let us subtract. So starting from four fifths, which becomes eight tenths, we're going to remove three out of ten. So what's left is five tenths. That means the difference between four fifths and three tenths is five tenths. But then if we're going to remove some slices like this, it becomes one half. That means five tenths can be reduced into one half. Another example for subtraction, we have two thirds minus two fifths. So this time, it, uh, the, the denominators are not multiple with each other. So in short, they are relatively prime, if you are familiar with that. And so we are going to um, visualize it first. We have two shaded parts out of three minus two shaded parts out of five. So it, here's how you do it. For two thirds each, uh, and since you want to make it similar with the five, the two fifths, so we are going to do um, divide each piece of two thirds into uh, five. So each piece will be divided it into five, and now it's all fifteen. And instead of two thirds, it's now ten fifteenths, which is the same as the two thirds. We just transform its uh, its appearance. And now for two fifths, um, since we want to make it the same as the 10 fifteenths and the given is two thirds so that means we're going to divide each piece of two fifths into three so from two fifths it's now um, six fifteenths so since both have a total of 15 boxes they fit with each other and we can you know, we can subtract now so from from um, 10 fifteenths we can remove uh, six fifteenths or six boxes. So let's remove six and what's left is four. So the difference of two thirds and two fifths is four fifteenths. And we cannot reduce this anymore. So just uh, four fifteenths. And that's the final answer. So that's how you add or subtract dissimilar fractions. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.